Hello, <coughs> Andy Graham of Hobo Traveler. I'm in uh, Guatemala, and uh, I wanted to give you a travel tip that's kind of a funny one, but it's a great one. This is, uh, I'm in a good mood, so it's easier to do. Basically, you have to say hello to all the different cultures on the planet to, to really be safe, okay, which is um, basically people like to rob people that are obnoxious, right? So, and then what's funny here is that in Penachal, Guatemala, La Guatalan, we have the, some really angry American women. And I really don't want to get them angry at me, but I don't really want to talk to them because they're annoying. Okay, so <clears throat> the neutral way to do it is to not just to say hi or you can't wink at them. That gets them angry. Truly obnoxious women. Okay, so. Uh, it made me remember that I had come up with a universal way to say hello to any culture on the planet. See, in Thailand, you might go like this, but see, if it's low, it's disrespect, and if it's high, it's respect. And sometimes people just don't do things right. And truthfully, until you really understand how to do it, you should stay away from using the cultural traditions, because you might be insulting them. Okay, <clears throat> the only one that I've found that is, and I kind of learned this from Africa, but some of it, but I was studying body language and, and the, let's see if I can do it. Raising the eyebrows like that, so when somebody walks by you go like that. But if you really just want to say hi, you just go like that and raise your, raise your eyebrows. Now what's great here is you can smile and people can tell that it's not genuine, but you can fake an eyebrow raising. I mean, you know, President Obama, President Bush, any president is good at this. They make you feel like a million dollars. but. To be charismatic, all you do is like that, and it, you're raising the hand is like I applaud you, right? And so I don't know anywhere except, I mean, they do this in Africa. Sometimes they shake your hands at you, but uh, it's a simple way of saying hello to somebody. You just wave both hands. You don't wave one. You, wave, you don't wave half the left one or the right one. You might be doing it wrong. You shake hands with the right hand. Shake hands. You, there's no rules here. Nobody does this, but they, they all appreciate it if you raise both your hands and raise your eyebrows. So... Practice raising your eyebrows. Now, if you can't do that, you may not have any smile muscles in your body. Okay, now, <clears throat> that's a universal way of saying hello anywhere on the planet that, as far as I know, nobody's going to get angry with you. I'm sure somebody can pick us apart and find a person that's going to get angry. But, if, you know, the Arabs do this thing and say, yes, you know, I forget what it is. But um, everybody's got a different way of saying hello. But... Culturally, um, it's nice to be able to say hello to anybody without really having to study it. And uh, these old bags here made me remember that, you know, I, I, I don't raise my hands to them because that would really be too much, but I, I just do a raise and I, I don't give them a wink because they really, <laughs> they're hypersensitive crazy women. And uh, this is a great tip and because what happens is, is that if you want to uh, become part of the culture, um, you really got to say hello, even if you want to become part of the uh, foreigner culture. Um, just because a person doesn't say hi to you doesn't mean you shouldn't say hi to them because uh, what, you know, eventually they normally break down and they start saying hello to you. And what that does is that they become part of your team that in a way makes your life easier. So that means if they're part of your team, they're not working against you, which is the other side. And that's the reason why I say hi to all these old ladies here in Panama Shell because, whew, man, they're vindictive bunch. There's a lot of hippy-dippy yippies too here, which I don't fit in because I don't have tattoos and dreads and all that stuff. But I say hi to them and according to what level of uh, trend they are in. Yeah, but it's a real trendy kind of place, so it's a lot of fun. But you know, the, the, the television show here is watching these personalities. I just want to be a diplomat and be neutral. But I keep thinking all the time that you need to teach charisma. I, I see so many people with no charisma, no power, no energy. All they do is suck my juice. And uh, this, is, this is crazy. Say hello to everybody. Just go try practicing it and look in the mirror or something. If you can put a smile with it or make yourself laugh, then you're already there, but uh, there's people that just cannot, they have a stone face, they have no muscles in their face, and they should learn to uh, use their body language. Okay, Andy Graham, Hobo Traveler in Panajachel, Guatemala, and Lago Atalan. Un otro día en Paraíso.